Fox News anchor Chris Wallace said Tuesday night's debate between President Donald Trump and Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden went off the tracks. Close quote. Tuesday night's first presidential debate featured Trump-Biden. Biden also interrupted the president, told him to shut up, and even him a clown. Close quote. Speaking, comma, Wallace said he was sad with the way last night turned out. Cleveland, Ohio, September 29. Debate moderator and Fox News anchor Chris Wallace directs the first presidential debate between U. President Donald Trump and Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden at the Health Education Campus of Case Western Reserve University on September 29, 2020 in Cleveland, Ohio. Photo by Olivia Downieri Poole slash Getty Images, calling it a terrible missed opportunity, Wallace told Greenbaum that he never dreamt that it would go off the tracks the way it did. Close quote. I'm a pro, Wallace said. I've never been through anything like this. I've read some of the reviews. I know people think, well, gee, I didn't jump in soon enough. He continued after expressing that he felt at first that Trump's initial break-in was a good sign of a rousing debate. I guess I didn't realize, and there was no way you could, hindsight being 20 20ths that this was going to be the president's strategy, not just for the beginning of the debate, but the entire debate. Close quote. The Fox News anchor said he was reluctant to keep interjecting, but felt he had no choice. First to say, please don't interrupt, then please obey the rules, and third, this isn't serving the country well. Apostrophe. Those are all tough steps at real time, at that moment, on that stage, he said. Greenbaum writes, The Commission on Presidential Debates for the next two events, one of which would allow moderators to cut the mix of participants who violate the rules. For his part, Wallace told The Times that he opposes cutting the mix of presidential candidates with tens of millions of Americans. Close quote. As a practical matter, even if the president's microphone had been shut, he still could have continued to interrupt, and it might well have been picked up on Biden's microphone, and it still would have disrupted the proceedings in the hall, Wallace said.